Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ali. I'm Baros, and welcome to Happily Ever Adventurous. Another Wednesday. Another show. Yes. <sighs> as usual, it took us a moment to get here, <laughs> but we are so, here. So, generally, as you guys know, we start with feeding Maestro, but actually, he's you can see his head there sleeping <laughs> very, very peacefully right now. So we will leave him alone and just give you Maestro Cam. Yes, so you there can you enjoy go. his presence. <laughs> if you love Maestro, say hello. If you don't love Maestro, say hello. Um, if you love us, say hello too. Oh yeah. If you love <laughs> us, say hello. <laughs> if you don't love us, why are you here? <laughs> but say hello. But anyway. say hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So much um, love. <laughs> let me quickly check the audio. I want to say hello too. Oh yeah. If you love us, say hello. <laughs> okay. Make it a little trippy. <laughs> that sounds good. What do we have? We have a soda taste test. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So we have lots of soda today. Yes, I guess the keyboard can go away. I guess you can move the things out of the way. And out of the way. This can stay here. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, we have. Oh, hello, Mr. Pacone. Hello, hello. Yet again, I say Mr. Yes. Can't help it. All right, so we have. Actually, let's turn up to Maestro Cam. For a moment, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeremy, I'm glad you love us. You should. We're awesome. We have six sodas from yes. around the world. And surprisingly, it did not take us that much effort to get them all. Yes. We are very lucky that we live in such a multicultural mm -hmm. place. How are we doing? Are we doing by distance? We should do by distance. We should do by distance. Okay, then it's going to be this. All right, we're going by distance. How are, close they are we, from here. We are going by distance. So this, then this. Which is further, Japan or Korea? Uh, uh, blue screen. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, I don't know the answer either. <laughs> I don't remember, even though we looked it up. All right. I'm just like you checking if they're... All with labels facing forward. All with forward. labels. So. so, yes. We have Sprite from United States. We have... Haritos. Mexico. Mm -hmm. Limonata. Italy. Chamlija. Chamlija, which I... Did I say it right? Yes, you did I very good. I said it good. right. Oh, my God. I have said so many things wrong lately. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from Turkey. Mm -hmm. And Ramune. Ramune. From... Which I'm hoping we're pronouncing correctly. Hopefully. I guess Ramune, but... Based on YouTube, you guys... it should be Ram Ramune. But... <laughs> it's from Japan. Yes. And... Our uh, <clears throat> sparkling melon soda, because apparently the Korean says sparkling mm. melon soda. Yeah, and the company is... SFC. Yes. SFC Bio. And <laughs> yes, it's Korean. Um, and then Joe said, I love visiting the soft drink sampling and cooling cool. stations in Disney. I've ah. never been to Disney, so I, I don't know. So I've been to Disney once and mm -hmm. it was lovely. And I do remember there being soda tasting thing somewhere. But I was also between 10 and 12 years old. I don't even remember which now. Long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. So what is your expectations like? The first thing. Um. So, well, I guess the real first thing is what are we going to be looking for slash trying to compare? I mean, I guess the carbonation, <coughs> how sweet they are, mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah, so Those we were things kind that's... of trying to get all clear sodas and we <laughs> almost succeeded. Almost. But which is actually we don't know what color is yeah, that. Yeah, we have no idea what color that is. Um, so that's exciting. But it's except so, the Haritos. Relatively clear. Yes. Uh, relatively clear. And oh Kinoto <laughs> is we almost got Kinoto for tonight. Um Kinoto is one of the Italian ones that I showed you while mm -hmm. we were in Italy. So we got our limonata mm -hmm. from Italy yes. the other day in the city. And there was a Kinoto, but we decided to go for like that lemon. Yeah. I'm actually really curious to see how this one stacks mm -hmm. up against Sprite because it's lemon lime. Yeah. All right. So actually, 
let's just pull up the our good old friend Wikipedia. Yes. Oh, and Joe said, I just wait for the Americans to try the Italian soda. Mm -hmm. It's butter. <laughs> he meant bitter. <laughs> be bitter yeah. yeah, the quinoto is very bitter. And there is another mm -hmm. one. I can't. I still can't remember the name of it. Ferrat. Fer Fera something or other, mm. and it's very bitter. Italians, for some reason, really love bitter sodas. Nice. So at some point, we will I don't get mind. that too. Yeah. But today, we have six sodas, six different countries. Yes. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, Actually, I will say I have never tried the Haritos. I have never uh, tried the, the Korean one. I guess I tried the rest of it before. I... Have not tried this flavor of haritos. Mm -hmm. I have tried different flavors of harito, mm -hmm. haritos. Um, I think when I was in Guatemala, I tried like the punch one or mm -hmm. like the red one. Yeah. But I don't know about this one. Yeah. Uh, the flavor we have for this is tamarind. Tamarind, which is so I that never be interesting. even. I never actually taste tamarind itself. Yeah. So I've had tamarind stuff before. Hmm. How do you describe it? Sweet. Okay. I don't remember anything else. I remember whatever that, I had that was, was that was sweet. like a very very uh, quick. It was, <laughs> it was like oh all right. So the thing that I had that was tamarind was like a sauce, and it was an incredibly sweet sauce. And I don't remember much else because it was mm -hmm. sweet. Like yeah. that. That's it. So I I had the Ramune like years back, um, but I quite I will remember when I drink it. I guess I, I remember something sweet, but mm. I've never had Ramune. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I've had this. I've had limonata. Mm -hmm. You had chamlija before. I have had chamlija before. I was like, I rely on him to tell me if I've had it. <laughs> I, I guess you you had a sip before. Okay, there we go. So and uh, I like Jeremy's going. Sprite is going down. <laughs> well, we will see. I mean, I personally am betting that Sprite is the sweetest on the table. Ooh. Maybe mm. with the exception of, exception of the haritos. But I'm assuming this Sprite will be the sweetest. Yeah. I have a backstory about this, so mm -hmm. actually this might be very sweet. Okay, we'll get there too. <laughs> um, yeah, Baros hasn't tried haritos as far as I know. So um, maybe once, but I don't even remember. Yeah, and even if it's it's not that fly, 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 flavor. Flavorful. <laughs> flavor. Flavorful. Flavorful. Flavor. Yeah. Yeah, and Joe says tamarind is quite sweet, but he uses it for smoking meats. Oh. Okay. Joe, we're going to have to come to your house for some food because when <laughs> right? you talk about food, it sounds so good. And I'm just like, I want to go visit. <laughs> yeah. I want some smoked meats. Yes. But but I guess as we're trying, we can talk a little bit about the history of soda also. Because mm -hmm. it's been around for a lot longer than I had thought. <laughs> it's been around for like since like the 1700s in some way, shape or form. Wow. I was reading. I, I actually I didn't know that. Yeah, I saw it before when I was looking on my phone mm -hmm. and like, let me see if I pull it up. Wow, actually this, the Wikipedia um, is very long. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting. Oh, wow. So like, I pulled up this. Yeah, 1676. Uh-huh, and I have like in the 1760s is when the first carbonation techniques were developed. But like, ev like it's, wow. it's been everywhere and it's really, really cool. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. Shall we taste the, the first one? And in order to do our tasting, we don't have six regular glasses <laughs> and we don't want to drink out of the bottles because we will probably seal them up because we won't finish everything. Yeah. So we have Raka glasses. Yeah. So do you, if you don't know what Raka is. Raka is a, um, a Turkish. Turkish. And it, it's around like a Greek says also Turkish has Raka. And if you go more east, they called Arak. Yeah. So it's actually grape base with um, aniseeds. Ita yeah. Italian has grappa. Yeah. They don't put aniseed in it, but it's mm -hmm. all in that same family. It's yeah. like clear, high alcohol content. Oh, look at the cat. He's like, I have <laughs> heard something open. So I just pour a little too much, I guess. That's okay. We don't. We'll we'll use it to compare the colors when oh, they're yeah. out in the glasses. Okay, maybe then I should like if the, so whatever. No, no, like. You're fine. You're it's fine. Good? That's enough. I just need a. Sp <laughs> we all know what Sprite tastes like. <laughs> we know what Sprite yeah. tastes like. <laughs> now we just have to compare it to the others. Maestro, are you awake? You Maestro look so like, sleepy, sir. My, let me just turn the Maestro cam really quick. <laughs> He's like, is it for me? 
Do I have some maestro? You were so in frame before you moved. <laughs> right now maestro. he's like. <laughs> there we go. I got him to look a little bit he's, better. He's very sleepy. He's he, a sleepy he, kitty. He had one shrimp and he was like, okay, I'm he's happy. He's in food coma. Our pasta but, had shrimp in yeah. it. Whenever he wants, he has treats waiting him. All right. I mean, it's very well-known Sprite. It's quite carbonated. Mm -hmm. It's quite sweet. I mean, the one thing is about the carbonation. I guess the... the um. The P PET bottles uh, generally has less carbonation. The what bottles now? P PET is the What's blast. PET? Or PET. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Um, it's actually kind of plastic, that the name. Since um, Maestro Cam is on, shall we shift them um, down? No, we can just... It's like he do. looks so cute, though. Okay, let's shift it up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make the Maestro Cam a little bit smaller, but then... We ran out of time. Ran out of time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. I like Maestro's actually chilling. Like, it could be for me. <laughs> I'll drink it. It's all good. It's true, Jeremy. He's like, nah, good night. Look at that sleepy kitty. Yeah. I mean, generally, carbonated drinks in a can has more carbonation. I don't know why. We will see. We only have one can. So, on another uh, yeah. occasion, we'll have to try all canned soda versus all bottled soda. Yeah. And see if that's true. So Let's see how it goes. It's 110 milligrams sodium in it. And I will say, it doesn't really <laughs> taste like lemon or lime. No, it's very, very artificial. Yeah, it just tastes like Sprite, mm -hmm. which... <laughs> tastes like Sprite? It, it's, Makes sense. it's the weirdest thing because, like, I can't think of anything else natural that actually tastes like that. It doesn't taste like lemon and lime, particularly to no. me. Even though it says right here, Sprite... Lemon lime. I mean, the ingredients, carbonated water, high fructose corn, corn, corn syrup. syrup, citric acid, natural flavors. Mm. There's okay. some natural flavor in there. You guys, I remember um, which episode we talked about the beaver butt? <laughs> <laughs> about the <laughs> vanilla? So that's natural flavor. So guess what's in it? what episode that was <laughs> when were we talking about beaver butt it was sodium straight sodium benzoate yeah whenever you have natural flavoring specifically in vanilla and other like baking goods <laughs> yeah it's actually a secretion from beaver butt yeah i will remember what episode that was and we will link it to above when mm -hmm. we figure it out yes it was quite entertaining <laughs> and quite a shocking little learning story at that point Yep. So, shall we jarritos? Yes, let's do it. I'm going to let you open that because mm -hmm. I'm going to make a mess. All right. But yeah. Also, I didn't know that the term like soda water, like soda, was coined in 1798. Like that's how far back that goes. Can I have a glass? No. No? Yes, of course you can. It's a very good idea. Yeah, Joe says he thinks the sugar and spray is so overwhelming that we can't taste the juices. Which, yeah. I agree. It just doesn't taste. There you go. All right, so this has a lovely orangey color. Mm -hmm. It's almost ambery. It smells. Ingredients, carbonated water, surprise, sugar, natural flavor. Beaver butt. <laughs> Beaver butt. <laughs> I mean... And the caramel for color. Caffeine free. Okay, so actually they have the same exact ingredients except the natural flavor. So which is we don't know what That's it is. That's probably tamarind. Yeah. Um I think that might be okay. sweeter. It's a very interesting smell. Hold on, let's see. Oh, well, the sodium is reduced by a lot. This only has 30 milligrams of sodium. Yeah. So if you're watching your sodium intake... Haritos is the better soda for you. I mean... Sprite has 110. If you're watching your sodium intake, don't drink soda at all. <laughs> you know what I mean. And um, actually, the sugars are reduced a lot here too. Mm -hmm. Because this bottle has 35 grams of sugar. The Sprite has 63 grams of sugar. It's insanely sweet, yeah. Yeah. I mean, granted, this one has less sugar, but tastes sweet. 
I guess because of the tamarind. Yeah. Yeah. There's a specific, very specific taste. Yes. It's very specific. Very specific. Hmm. All right. No, hmm. no. Don't get mad. Don't bang things. Ha! I'm not sure if I really enjoy the flavor. Yeah, I think the tamarind might be getting in my way. Mm -hmm. Because the t as I recall, tamarind is just a sweet thing. Yeah. And it almost competing for level of sweetness, even though it has half the sugar in there. Yeah, agreed. And and it has everything to do with the tamarind. And um, I could have gotten a different flavor. Be sugar coma. Because sugar coma. Then, as he t uh, careful. As Barros talks so about. So basically. Mm -hmm. The next one is Limonata Nota from Italy. Now, I think this is one of those ones that we could debate if it's actually soda. Mm -hmm. Because we don't tend to refer to it as soda. I mean, I guess for me, it checks all the things that soda can have. Mm -hmm. Is it carbonated? Yes. Yeah. Is it flavor? Is it yes. sugar? Yeah. Then it's a soda. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess because it's more natural hmm. and it tends to be... So, like, when you think of, like, San Pellegrino, which we could have gotten that brand, but we chose yeah. to get, like, a different, more yeah, na but like I natural Yeah, but I can say that, like, a flavored sparkling water because they generally don't have sugar. sugar. True. So, I guess that's the very distinct thing between All right, the so soda and flavored sparkling water. sparkling water versus soda mm -hmm. is the sugar content. Yeah. So <laughs> I like Joe's going Forza Italia. Go, go, go. <laughs> so ingredients, carbonated water. Aha. Uh -huh. Something different. It's not natural flavors first. This one we know. Lemon juice from concentrate. Okay. Cane sugar. Mm. There you go. Um, let me not acerola juice. Yes. What's acerola? I don't know. Hmm? Um I natural elderflower extract, natural oh, lemon flavors with other natural flavors. Still, so there is butt. bibberwatt in it. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess you should pronounce it Tiquillo lemon extract. Tiquillo. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think there's an I in there. Stevia. <gasps> oh, no. Sugar and oh, stevia. No. They are trying to make it like an extra sweet. Oh, no. I don't like the flavor of stevia. Yeah. Oh, I wish I'd read the bottles. Okay, so... Out of this three, this has the least calories. So Sprite is 230 calories. Also the size of the bottle, though. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> it's definitely... So... The um, the Harito is 140, and this is 90. And it has 21 grams added sugars. Which is not including the stevia, because yeah. stevia doesn't count as sugar. And there so is no sodium in it. Zero. Oh, interesting. So... Oh, I liked the pop on that. Right? There you go. Okay, and, I, and I, I'm going to acknowledge something here is I don't particularly love soda or carbonated beverages. Yeah, this episode is like a really... <laughs> this is not my episode. <laughs> interestingly weird for you. All right, I'm like enjoying the bubble going mm -hmm. on over here. Oops, oops. Okay. This All has right. like really fine bubbles. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can see them on the screen super well. We might have to try to take a picture later on. Yeah. But actually, let me just do it while. Yeah. So we the can share bubbles later. in this and the glasses are actually really different. Mm -hmm. So from the sprite, it's got really. Can I just take a picture of it. Yes. <laughs> sprite has really big bubbles. The Haritos has pretty fine bubbles, but mm -hmm. they're like not as frequent. And this, this one is one like has a between. Like but when it first started, it was very fine mm -hmm. and very like. Shh. <laughs> Again, the sound, the sound effects. <laughs> I, I, I am a beatboxer. I can make any sound you want. Mm. Not true at all. Here, try Limonata yes. first. Actually, it smells very fresh. Yeah, and I was going to say the reason why I was bringing up that mm. is Limonata soda. Is because on the bottles, they don't ever say soda. They say sparkling lemon beverage. And they like, or like even yeah. for the San Pellegrino that does have some sugar in it. Soda. They put beverage. 
Spike. But like this says soda. But also they are beverage too. I guess Sprite is a beverage, no? Everything is a beverage. That oh, is liquid, there you go. But not every beverage is a soda. Every soda is a beverage, but not every beverage is a soda. There you go. As I logic my way into this conversation. <laughs> ah, Diana likes Sprite a lot. It's her favorite and she likes Haritos. They've got different flavors. Yeah. Which, I, which, which one is your favorite flavor of the Yeah, Haritos? what's your favorite Haritos flavor? Because this was not the best choice, I think, on my end. No. Sorry. On your end? On my end. <laughs> you me. boop yourself? It's on the nose. I am Look, going Maestro to blame is... myself. Oh, okay. Maestro came on. I was like, for a second. Maestro, are you saying hi to everyone? Oh, I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> I like... It has very good amount of sourness. It's very lemony. Mm -hmm. And since they didn't put like a sor ascorbic acid, right? You didn't read that as an ingredient? No. It's like actually like natural lemon bitterness. Yeah. But also it has like a natural flavor. So it could be. Uh, I'm not beaver gonna, butt. <laughs> I'm not going to. Beaver say. butt. Something came to my mind, but I stopped myself saying. Oh, gosh. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay. Jeremy said, I wonder if the bubbles have to do with the sugars in the soda as compared to the level of carbonization. Huh. That's I mean, a good it, question. The temperature could be a thing too. Yeah, but they're all they all came out of the fridge at the same time. Yeah. But the glass keeps colder than the, the plastic. So. Oh, true. Accurate. But so, even if you like look at the, the like as they're in the glass, yeah. the level of bubbles is mm -hmm. different. We can take a picture of that later too. Or a little video. Yeah. All right. Guess you're famous. You're getting some messages. Uh, it's really just one message, but iPhones like to remind you in case you missed mm -hmm. it the first time. Mm -hmm. If you don't look fast enough. All right. Next one. All right. We are moving on to Turkish. Turkish is Chamlija. Chamlija. I read about a little bit. Oh, and okay. it has been... Um... All right, Diana says she likes lime on the haritos, by the way. So oh, we should try nice. the lime next time. Yeah. So the Chamlija has been introduced in, um, I guess, 1946 or seven. Oh, wow. Okay. And two brothers made it. But the one thing is I remember we drank last time. This flavor was like a little different. Um, because actually the company has been sold to another company. Oh, okay. 2002. So it's not the same. But in 2015, if I remember correctly, a Japanese company bought the company. Oh. So right now this Turkish brand soda is actually owned by Japanese company. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Did not know that. New information for me. Oh, she likes the strawberry as well. I don't think I've tried strawberry jaritos. Well, that's pretty bubbly as well. Mm hmm It's actually very bubbly. This actually like looks more like sparkling water. Like it's very... Just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it shows anything. Yeah, a little bit. You can see the bubbles. It definitely looks more like sparkling water, like your level of sparkling water. Oh, like a full blast sparkling water. So here, here's the thing. I love water, but I love natural like tap, like tap water that's not flat. Flat water. I love flat water. Sorry. There you go. Words. Um, I love drinking flat water, but Baros loves drinking sparkling water. I do. So we got a fizzy machine, a sparkling water machine. Mm -hmm. And you can, of course, make it as fizzy as you want. So if I fizzy it, I'm like, I don't really need the fizz. So I mm -hmm. can do like one. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Bars will go full out and like do all three levels. I do. My and specifically, if, if, you, if you put the uh, new canister, it actually comes out like a very, very sparkly. Yeah. Very bubbly. And he's like so happy with it. But I, the bubblier it is, the more I hiccup. <laughs> it's it's in, like instant almost hiccup for you. Yeah. All right. Let's see Go if for this the is instantaneous. I let it breathe. Turkish for a soda. It smells like lemony, limey. Mm. I don't know. Oh, actually, I didn't. Is there a flavor on this one? Yes, it says lemon flavored soda. It says I will say it's water, sugar. Second ingredient. Oh. Mm-hmm. Natural flavors. Of You're course. translating the bottle, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, he's reading it so slowly. It's because he's translating it because it's in Turkish. Yes. Uh, so I can't help him. 
Yeah. Um, definitely it says natural. I mean, yeah. So it's beaver butt. Beaver butt to the rescue. You need a flavor. <laughs> Have a beaver. <laughs> and actually, I bet when I was a kid, this wasn't high fructose corn fruit. No. Actually, it says high fructose fructose glucose syrup. Yeah, it's just the, all the same thing. Lots of sugar is yeah. basically what we're doing right now. I like this one. If I if I I have to say I had the hardest time pronouncing this mm -hmm. because that C with the 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 dot underneath yeah. is so it's, hard to pronounce for me. It's actually not his C C H. Anyway. But to remember to pronounce it like yeah. that. Chamlija. Chamlija. And it's the other C is not. But I guess the hardest one is the, the I without dot. Yeah, but I can Which remember Chamlija. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Uh. This doesn't taste the sweetest. This... <laughs> Mama is like, hi, maestro. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Way to say hi to your, your, your child and your son-in-law. Okay. I guess it was less sweet. If I remember when I was a kid. Okay, so it's sweeter now? It's sweeter now, mm. for sure. I still think Sprite and Haritos are the sweetest. That's right. I agree. Um, This doesn't taste... So, in terms of lime lemon flavors... <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mom. We love you, too. Yeah. Well, that's very nice. Um, In terms of lime and lemon flavors, these two are definitely more real tasting. Exactly. This is... Very artificial. Very artificial. It was my favorite soda growing up, but mm -hmm. I also didn't drink a lot of s soda for mm -hmm. a while. Um, ooh, Mexican Sprite. All right. Wait, wait. What's oh, a Mexican I know. Sprite? I mean, the, oh. it's, it, at the end, they're the same company, right? Mm -hmm. And in, Mexi in Mexico, they um, use the cane sugar in Turkey, too. Okay. In Coke in Turkey, mostly in cane sugar. Okay. Well, I know that almost... So if we go to Georgia at some point, we mm -hmm. can go to the Coca-Cola Museum and they actually have like a taste testing of like all the Coca-Colas from around the world okay. because each country basically has a slight very, not each country, but a lot of countries have a mm -hmm. variation on Coca-Cola yeah. and maybe Sprite is the same, which I hadn't considered, I, but at least I, for Mexico. I, I, I don't here. remember. I don't remember. But it would make sense. It would make sense yeah. if there's lots of variations but I know, on that. Um, Coca-Cola is less sweet in Turkey than here. Yeah. I think it's less sweet in Italy Look also. Look at Maestro. He's so cute. And then Joe said, Italian households of my generation had no Pepsi Coca-Cola. We had ginger ale and Manhattan espresso soda, which I believe came about in the late 1800s. Okay, what yeah. is Manhattan espresso soda? I that have sounds never... so good. Yeah. I would like that because I like espresso mm -hmm. and I feel like it would be good. The corner store with my own. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I feel like in the last probably 50 years, <laughs> soda has changed a lot because I remember previous to like maybe in the 50s and like before that, they had like soda delivery guys that came and like actually like fizzed up things. Like you, did, okay. you couldn't just buy it in mm. like mass produced bottles. Interesting. At least in New York. I don't remember for everywhere, but I believe that's true. I might have to go read my information <laughs> over there. Information? Information. All right. By the time, All let's, right. let's go farther. How to open. Remove right. the seal from the top. So the Ramune, before he opens that, is really interesting mm -hmm. because it has very distinctive design to it because there's a marble in there. It's on top right now. Yeah. So the marble sealed to mm -hmm. hold and we watched a video and found out that the marble yeah. is there to make sure that the carbonation stays in. Yes. Yeah. So I'll let Baros open that. And actually while you're fiddling, can I have the mouse please? Yes. Oopsie. Whoops. There you can go. The I... marble is right here. Okay. We'll show the screen. Uh the the maestro one? There sure. you go. There's a marble in the top, which, of course... My three is still on the... I don't think I can be in the focus. Oh, it's not bad. There you go. Yeah. 
So that marble is on the top of the blue. And, we and need they give to... you this green thing. I guess we need to push this out first. There we go. And now... I'm going to trust you to do it because it looked like it took a lot of force. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Come, come to the middle. Because right now Maestro Cam is blocking the way. Ah, all right. Yeah, so this lovely marble, mm -hmm. you get to have a little device to push it through. And it looked really difficult, yes. so. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to hold the desk up. <laughs> there Woo! you go. Did you hear that pop, guys? Now the marble is actually... In there, in there, and it's fizzing, so we can see the carbonation that we couldn't see before. Mm -hmm. It's so cool! Have a glass, please. Oh yeah, that. I'm in charge of glasses, can you mm -hmm. tell? <laughs> I never deliver when it's supposed to be delivered. All right. Okay, moving these back where they belong. Again, small bubbles. Small bubbles. It's definitely smaller. Are we going to take the... Uh, yeah, we should keep it for the marble. Mm -hmm. Oh, my oh, like, like, what's that sound? Yeah, so I was saying the design of the bottle. Actually, here you can see the bubble. Not the <laughs> bubble. <laughs> the marble? Marble. Um, they designed the bottle so then the marble doesn't go into the soda all the way. Yeah. It stays at the top so it doesn't get stuck. And it's still easily pourable. Actually... I'm just checking the ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's carbonated water, fructose glucose syrup, the same as the Turkish one. And they're both right now Japanese. And this is Japanese own. But if you remember, this was not invented by a Japanese person. Yeah, I remember that. But they don't know, so I'm telling them to. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's actually inv invented yes, by a, a, a Scottish man, mm -hmm. which I was like, what? Was it Scottish or Scottish? Swiss? Scottish, I'm Scottish? pretty sure. Okay. So this one doesn't have beaver butt because it says artificial flavor. So there is okay. nothing real taste flavor wise. Oh, it's all artificial? Yeah, all artificial. Does it say what? It just says original on there. Does it say what original yeah. is? Mm -mm. It also gives you a warning on there. Do not swallow the plunger. <laughs> so you're being warned not to eat the green thing just you know 16 grams of added sugars but still i mean the bottle is very tiny so what's 70 calories so i didn't check if if the does that turkish, have calories on it if turkish one has the calories on it hmm. actually no it doesn't say how much calories in it. Okay. Well, it that makes sense because it's definitely... You have to write it on bottles here, but you don't have to do it in every other country. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, wow. What does it smell like? Um, baby medicine. What? Like a syrup, like a baby. is like a, You cannot give the pills. It's like similar. Oh, like, yep. I wasn't oh, joking. Oh, it smells like it smells like that flavor that you don't like. I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, okay, you might want to get the um, keyboard to keyboard? to yeah. type around. Let's double check who invented it. So I'm pretty sure it's a Scotsman. Jeremy's like a Scotsman, you say? So type <laughs> Ramune. All right. Okay, can you click that? I can click this. Who invented? Hiram Cod. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's definitely. Hi, hi, I'm, I'm reading it as Hiram, but like it's probably Hiram. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, that's small. Okay, I can just make it. Ta da. Okay. So, the word ramune is actually derived from the sound of the English word because of lemonade. Ramune, lemonade. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> the, 
There's no L in the Japanese language, so they substituted this... it with R. Lemonade turned into ramune. <laughs> Lemonade. Ramune. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Okay. I am very appreciative of that as a linguist nerd. That's amazing. Jeremy says the flavor he doesn't like. What would that be? Um, so I haven't tasted this yet, actually. I've, I've gotten sidetracked. Actually, can I have the amount of swipe at time? I actually like this. Um, it's like that, the fake cherry. That... It's not. It's, it's not that. No, this is, this is, it smells like that though. It smells like the fake cherry. Mm. It doesn't quite taste like it. This is much better than that. Um, but he doesn't tend to like the fake cherry almond um, taste. Yeah. Like, you know, when you get like bad pistachio ice cream, it has that kind of like fake taste flavor that's almost cherry like. That's the one he doesn't like. All right. English engineer. Okay. Hiram Cod. He's an English engineer, but where is he from? Scroll down. Early life. England. Oh, the dude on the thing said Scotland. Yep. The dude on the thing. That was very informative. The <laughs> you YouTube guys got it. <laughs> guy that we watched said Scotland. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then let's see. Mom said she had a soda seltzer man when she was growing up in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. On the rare occasion, they'd get aranciata or gasosa, a lemon lime, not very sweet, very carbonated soda. I guess it's similar because in, 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 in Turkey, V says gasos. Actually, it says here gasos. Mm. Let me just actually put it here. Are you going to pull, pull back a little? Yeah. There, there you go. go. It says gasos. Yeah. And aranciata is like. Like the limonata, except it's orange flavor, because arancha okay. is orange. So aranchata. Learning every day. Yes. I never had Manhattan soda, so I'm very curious about it. Sorry, what? Manhattan soda. Oh, yeah. I'm very curious about that as well. And then Joe said he's interested to get our opinions on which, if any of the soft drinks would go well or complement food other than pretzels or chips. We'll let you know in a bit. Yeah. And let's see. All right. Joe's family's from Sicily to Brooklyn as well. Mom is Naples to Brooklyn. So very Ice cream cool. truck. Okay. So Ramone. this one is not very sweet at all, actually. No. I feel like this is like the most not sweet. <laughs> the most not sweet. Um... The flavor is hard to place, though. So uh, I don't yeah. know what flavor it's supposed to be besides original. Mm -hmm. Actually, do you want to look that up real quick? Yeah. Ramune original flavor? Maybe it's... Because Ramune looks like it has many different flavors. This does not taste like lemonade. So if that's mm -hmm. what they were going for... Lemon lime. It's not lemon or lime. None of them all. <laughs> you know what? If we, I compare, it's worse than Sprite then. <laughs> it's, I, I'm having a moment. Sorry, guys. Um, because I don't taste like anything. I don't think Sprite tastes like lemon lime either, but it also doesn't have this very distinctive other smell. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we should have just had a lemon lime like, soda tasting test, and we could have gotten lime jaritos and looked for like a lime yeah, the soda. Rest, yeah. We failed just a little bit on that, but that's <laughs> all fine. Good. It's all okay. It's Why did I go this good. way? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it seemed like the logical thing to do, but as we all know. Wow, Maestro is like. Does, does shrimp have something that knocks kitties out? <laughs> he only had one. I know. If we if have given him treats, he will have like 20. I know. Oh, and that crinkling sound you're hearing, I'll talk about that in a moment. Yes. <laughs> All right. I don't know if we'll be able to have it. Sparkling melon from South Korea. Yes, from South Korea. And yeah, I sent a picture of this to Andrea yesterday. And I asked her, <laughs> how do you, what's the name of this in Korean? I sent her the picture of the Korean lettering. 
And she just goes, sparkling melon. <laughs> it's like, well, well. that's not helpful. <laughs> just a sparkling melon? So let's see. How does sparkling melon... Ooh, oh, wow. Look at that color. That is a, a color right there. Oh, it's very... Uh, very it's very artificial. Fizzy. Very artificial color. <laughs> not necessarily. It could be like... Honeydew melon. It smells like honeydew. Dude, this smells so much like honeydew. I don't know where um, my dude came from today. <laughs> smell smell that. Oh, dude, it's... <laughs> don't dude me. I can dude you. You're a dude. Uh, actually, you might want to read that. Okay, let's, let's see if I can read that. Here, taste that. I didn't taste it yet. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I have to figure out where to read first. Oh, it tastes like a little bit lemon. Um, melon. Uh, it smells like honeydew. Like it straight mm -hmm. up smells like honeydew melon. I'm not sure where to read. Um, how much would in this? Well, it's 190 calories for this can. 25 milligrams sodium. 40 grams of sugar. It's nine added grams of sugar. <laughs> 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 Did Baras get a kick in the face of sugar? <laughs> huh. Um, okay. Okay. There we go. I found the ingredients. Okay, it took me a second. Oh, I I was like a reading here, like a no, nah, no, nah, it's it's down here. The ingredients are all the way at the bottom. The first ingredient is fructose syrup. Okay, I got three sips. I'm shaking. Whoa. Uh, it is fructose syrup, refined sugar, melon concentrate, carbon dioxide, refined salt, artificial flavor melon, artificial flavor citrus, edible dyes, mixed green, <laughs> citric acid, ascorbic acid, and water. So... That was an experience, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go drink. My, I'm gonna drink my green melon now, honey. Don't. <laughs> I don't dislike this as much as you do. It's so um, sweet. I'm. I cannot. This is one of those ones where I'm like, I taste the sweet, but I don't taste sweet. It's the honeydew is distracting me. Yeah. Cause I taste the honeydew and I like the honeydew flavor. It's so, also quite artificial taste, actually. I don't know how did they get this smell, right? Because <laughs> they put actual honeydew concentrate in it. Okay. So the the third ingredient. Yeah, the first one is fructose syrup, then refined sugar. The third ingredient has more sugar than everything else. The so. third ingredient is melon concentrate. Okay. So that's probably where the smell is coming from because it's actually melon in there as well. Yeah, but actually it tastes more artificial than melon, but it's very, it smells melon. I'm being fooled. I like it. Like it? This would make a good cocktail, actually. I think if you mix this with if, like if alcohol. It, yeah. This yeah. would make a, and some real fruit, preferably. I mean, possibly if I dilute with like a sparkling water, I will like a drink. It. <laughs> and also I'm just going to say, hi, Moises. Welcome. Hi, welcome. Yes. All um, right. So that was interesting. I'm, okay. So for a cocktail, I think this is great. I think also, this would be really lovely. For, Actually, it's also for um, cocktails. The color is great. Actually, yeah. Shall we try something? Go ahead. Have fun. But yeah, in terms of cocktails, I think that would make a very... What do you think? Oh my God, are we making lights now? Oops, <laughs> it's actually very interesting. <laughs> the light. I mean, the, the others don't have color, so they're no fun to play with. How do you just have? I mean, this has a color. It's just It's lemon. not that vibrant, though. This is no. just going to be like white. But it's white. It makes different than clear. How about this one? Oh, God. We're, we're just now playing with our drinks. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, it's not like a... No. The, the green... Green has like a... Shall I, I'm going to pour a little more. And then you can have more fun with your... <laughs> 
I like, we started with much larger pores and we learned our lessons. Look, this is like, you can definitely get the green. I like it. <laughs> I don't know why one would add sugar to honeydew. Um, it's possible that just in Korea, they've got a sweet drink palette. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of times when I go to like Korean bakeries that do like the teas and mixed mm -hmm. drinks like that they tend to be quite sweet yeah but i don't know if that's an american korean thing or if that's just everywhere in korea also because i've never yeah. been to korea i would love to we were almost going there we, we almost were almost going there we were supposed to go last year for our friend's wedding uh but Good unfortunately morning, <laughs> a certain thing happened mm-hmm and most weddings were canceled, so we could not go to Korea for the wedding. Yes. They did not get married in Korea. Mm -hmm. I hope so, they reschedule. In terms of, let's start rating. Um, I have a distinct favorite. I do have a distinct favorite, too. Shall we go on three? Yep. One, two, three. Limonata. Oh, I was just going to point at it. Yes, limonata. Limonata is the yeah. number I one. I think... Even though it's it is sweet, mm -hmm. it's just the most natural flavor. Like it actually tastes like lemon, like fresh lemon, yeah. not not fake lemon. Mm -hmm. So I think that's definitely the number one for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, hello, Lone Star Crew! Welcome, <laughs> welcome. We are definitely having a lot of soda. We're gonna be sugar high very shortly. I am sugar high right now. <laughs> are you already sugar high? I mean, the the the, um, the South Korean soda was. Yeah, the, 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 this uh, honeydew soda. Oh, my story. If you is like, like sweet, heard that's you. the way. Well, he heard the plastic from. So I'm going to show you what I thought we were going to eat between the cookies. It, impossible. Co in between the cookies, between the sodas. Um, I'm going to preface this by saying while I was at Italy, I got a little excited <laughs> and I spotted some cool things. And then I did this. Uh, it is rosemary sugar cookies. There's two left. We did have one the other day. Mm -hmm. They are so good. And I really, really thought that we were going to eat that in between. It's not possible. I mean, it's possible for me. I'm a sugar freak. I, but... I'm, I'm done right now, <laughs> basically. But I've taken pity on my husband <laughs> because I have a very large sweet tooth. Baros yes. does not. <laughs> no. All right. So number one is limonata. Yes. What do you think about the I don't, second one? Um, I don't know. I don't. I'm the struggle is real right now. I might go with actually chamlija. I was thinking that too. I kind of I feel it's unfair for haritos because the mm -hmm. flavor I picked was not the best flavor. Yeah. I should have gotten this lime, and I think it would be Yeah, better. the tamarind flavor was, like, a very specific. Yes. So... But, like, the carbonation, the level of sweetness, mm -hmm. I think, aside from the tamarind, mm -hmm. would be good. Yeah. But for now, I think we've got to put... All right. The ch chamlija. Chamlija. So oh number God. one is Italy. Number two is Turkish soda. Yes. And everyone watching, please keep in mind, again, these are just us and our opinions. Yeah. If you disagree... You should also let us know um, if you've <laughs> or, tried these, because maybe you yeah. haven't tried them Or yet. if there is like any other things that we should try. I mean, I know we're, we're definitely missing a lot of sodas out there. So if yeah. you know of a soda that you think we should try and where we can get it. What do you think about the number three? Um, I tend to go Ramune. Mm. Let me just taste it again. Here, have some, have some Ramune. I will have. Some. I think I might also just really like it because I think the backstory on the name is so funny, and so like kind of awesome for again from that linguistic standpoint. Because um, if you missed it from earlier, Ramune yeah. is actually how they said lemonade yeah. in Japanese because they don't have an L, and because of the way that the language works, so they have written out Ramune instead of lemonade. Yeah. Hello. It definitely tastes like medicine to me. Hello, Maestro. Oh, Maestro. We have a stretchy kitty. Hello. No, that's not food for you. All right. Come let's here. Turn the Maestro Come here, cat camera. butt. Come. Come. Uh, meat. 
Maestro's butt. <laughs> yeah, if uh, Lone Star Crew, if you have not met Maestro's butt before, you have now met it. His butt is um, always guess, in our videos. He is like, I'm up for more treats right now. Shall we give him some treats? I guess we should. All right. Um, where did you put this one? Did you put it in third? I guess I didn't. I was like, where'd it go? Um, I mean, it's definitely taste medicine to me, so I didn't enjoy. I didn't taste any lemon or lime. We don't but... have to put that as the third one. I just, oh, well, we have a very curious cat right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, we didn't even open this yet. Yeah, it's brand new. Brand um, new. And Joe says, limonata, aranciata, and Manhattan are the only sodas I have ever, I ever have here. And it, very infrequently at that, too, too sweet. I, I oh, agree. Most don't... sodas are too sweet for me. I'm going to have to get a Manhattan soda, Manhattan espresso soda. It sounds so I, good. I really want to try that. Yeah. Um, Joe, do you know where we can get that? Because if I can find it, I'm so in. Just to try it, the very least. Maestro, come say hi, Wilma. Come. Come, come Maestro. Is, is there just too much stuff on the desk? Right I now? guess so. Maestro. So generally, actually, we bribe him beginning of the show. But dinner time, he had one shrimp. And he fell asleep. And he fell asleep, so right now he wants the rest of his bribe. Okay, Maestro, come. Come. Come, sir. Come here. Come here. Yes, there you go. Uh, welcome to cat butt world. <laughs> All right, what do you think about the number oh. four? Okay, hold on. Joe says, Manhattan Espresso Soda is widely available even at ShopRite. I've never seen it at ShopRite. Yeah, that's okay. And now I feel the need to... Go to ShopRite and get some. All right, fine. Maestro. You need to show your face a little bit. Not always, but. Not always, but. Come here. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to lure him this you, way. We're going we're gonna to trick the cat, guys. Come this way. Like he's like, are can you, I go are, through the oh, glasses? Are you tasting sodas, sir? Come here. Can I just... There oh, we no. go. He's going to go next there. There we go. Still, you get cat butt, but, you know. <laughs> also, I was going to say, if you don't like the Ramune, mm -hmm. we don't have to put it as third. We can we can uh, debate it a bit. <laughs> um, if it's not, what's your, your second number three? Probably the other one you don't like. Because <laughs> right now, this particular fa flavor. Flavor. Sorry, I'm distracted by the cat. Um this particular flavor of Haritos is, is in the last place for me. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just not as keen on the tamarind flavor. Yeah. Uh, but I the bubbles and, yeah, everything else is fine. Just the flavor itself. Mm -hmm. I, I like the super artificial one. <laughs> I guess for me... It's very sweet, but I like it. I don't know. <laughs> I guess uh, for me, number three is Sprite. Okay. We can put... Then, um actually tamarind haritos number four for me and um the south korean number five and the ramone is oh number the six. ramone is the last one for you yeah i don't know somehow it tastes medicine to me okay i'll i'll take it all right so i then... mean we don't have to go that uh we, okay. we, we can do like a separate thing I mean, let's just, we'll rank it like this, like right now. Know that we don't agree. <laughs> and therefore, this is just a compromising ranking. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's really hard, I think, for two people to be completely 100% palette-wise the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and blatantly, we have different sugar yeah. levels and everything else. Yeah. Um, we are based in West New York, New Jersey. Yes, we are in Jersey. I am a Jersey girl. I'm from originally Istanbul, Turkey. Mm -hmm. I have been living here for eight years. And Maestro is a New Jersey cat. New Jersey cat. Actually, he was born in Manhattan, Upper East Side. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I was like, where was he born? Yeah. He's a New yeah. York kitty. Actually, at some point, we shall do a, a spicy challenge collab. Oh, yes. We would love that Lone Star crew. Yeah. You guys are hilarious with your spicy mm -hmm. stuff. And... uh we have our moments. <laughs> we actually have... Um, oh, that, that's not challenge. I think I saw you guys do this, but it's yeah. been a while since I watched it, so I don't remember. But we have our death nut challenge. No, Maestro, mm -hmm. that's not for you. 
Um, <laughs> we have our death nut challenge that we're going to do in a couple weeks. We're like, we have to plan the right day because uh, it's not going to be on a Wednesday. I don't think I'll get to work. If we eat all of these, I think I'm going to have, we're going to have to do this on a Friday night. Because um, <laughs> yeah. I don't think we'll survive. We will survive. We'll survive. We just... had survived before. Yeah, but this one we have to swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the toe of Satan where we're like, what? Like, just spit yeah. it up. Which was still bad enough. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. So, um, <laughs> yeah. That's coming. Uh, <laughs> and, yay! So we can definitely collab. We would love that. We'll talk. We would love it, yeah. Figure it. Woo! I don't know what I knocked down, guys. I have no <laughs> idea. So. I'm hyper. This has already been too much sugar for me. I have not had this much soda in so, forever. So you're going to jump and you're going to crash. Yes. I take it actually better than better than you. You do much better with sugar and um, okay. sugar this and is caffeine. The, this is the last one, sir. That's, that's it. <laughs> Okay, uh, Lone Star Cruise. I can't read it anymore, Maestro. Maestro. Maestro, you're in my comments. <laughs> sir, sir, I'm pretty it's... sure they said don't do it on a weekday because it will ruin the next day. Mr. Maestro. Mr. Maestro. Excuse me, sir. M move the butt, please. Oh, oh, that's convenient. You're still sitting in front okay. of the comments. I'm going to do one more bribery for him so he will move. That's what he's waiting for. Maestro's favorite maestro, game. Maestro, Maestro, Maestro. There you go. Bye. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoy the shaking that Maestro has caused. <laughs> All right, now we can see the comments. Yes, this is okay. the, on the weekend. It will. <laughs> I guess we will. I mean, when we did the two x. Yeah, when we did the Pocky One Chip Challenge times mm -hmm. two, it wasn't that bad the next day, but we did not sleep yeah. because we woke up with stomach cramps. That's correct. Um. So, yeah, I'm guessing weekend will be better for that because yeah. I don't want to have to go to work and then. Yeah. No, doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> All um, right. And so, then, hold on. Joe says, favorite carbonated favorite beverage for him is Campari and soda. Okay. Have you had Campari? I, I, yeah. But I, I don't think if I had it with soda or. Um... I. I've probably had it with soda, mm -hmm. but I usually have my Campari um, in Negronis. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember what else is in there, but it's strong. All right. <laughs> so we can do one last showdown. Ow. My, my hair got stuck in my shirt for a second. So this is kind of, sort of, I mean, the first two we agreed. Yeah. L Limonatov is the winner. The second one is the Turkish soda. I don't mind the... What happened? Sorry, Joe just said, death nut sounds very emasculating. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was great. Um, you know. Depends. I can definitely live with that order. So that's... Yeah. Yeah. Even, even I can switch that. I don't mind. Oh, hello again, sir. Hello. Why are... <laughs> Mr. Maestro, what's going on? It, it's Maestro. He wants like a, another there? 20. Hello, sir. What okay. you doing? He just settled. Okay, thank you. You can have your butt right there. All right. Um, Yeah, I can live with this. Personally, for me, the Sprite and the Haritos are on the low end. Mm -hmm. I do think, again, that if we had a different flavor of Haritos. Yeah. So if we do another... And we will. When yeah. we do our next soda taste test, we will get a different flavor of Haritos. Mm -hmm. And if you know of any other sodas we should try, please let us know. Let us know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, please like and subscribe. <laughs> we want to get the first 100 subs yeah. so We're we can have closer. the URL. We are closer. We're at like, what, 54? 50, 56, six, I guess. 56 subscribers. So soon... Soon. Mama says, when will you two learn with all the hot, hot stuff? stuff? Never, uh, mother. Never. Um, <laughs> or at least never for now. Yeah. Uh, I imagine there will be a point where we'll just be like, that's enough. I will definitely say that no more Toe of Satan. I, I think that was the limit of our 
pain yeah. tolerance. Yeah. They said our dog Rocky is the same way. He, he always, always has to make an appearance. <laughs> yeah. Maestro is, uh, he's a very friendly cat and he has yes. kind of got some dog-like traits. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can put him on a leash. He doesn't Actually, like it. Let me turn the maestro cam on so you guys can see where he is right now. It's really quite ridiculous. It just... um, <laughs> and then he ah. saw it and he's like, I'll go back to my bed then. Okay, you can go back. To... Oh, no. Oh, he's no. Like a more to, to the maestro. Where? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the funniest moment, I guess. Oh, my tonight. God. Maestro, honey. Come here. Come here, boo-boo. He knows his name. He comes when he wants because he's still a cat. No more. He knows that that means no more. Yes. The, over the time, we actually told him, like, if we do this, it means no more Sir, treats. come to mama. Come. All right. We are closing the show. Come. Okay. So, as we were saying before, <laughs> we were so rudely interrupted by our cat returning. Uh, please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Share with your friends. And we will see you next week. Yes. Happy adventures, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Yeah.